what's going on? This is Lego Blake's Game Room back with you once again, and today we're going to be taking a look at my uh, stuff I've got over the last month. Um, got tons of stuff here, and uh, we're going to start out with uh, the Nintendo Wii. Um, this is going to be split into a couple parts, but all here in the same video, so you'll see some screen cuts probably or something, because i got to have to go get the other stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Um, anyway, i got a couple Wii games here. Um, we got Cock. Kakoto Magic Circus for the Wii. Um, it's just a bunch of mini games and um, just a bunch of mini games, you know, just to play with some buddies and whatnot. Uh, we got Ninja Bread Men. Um, been wanting to get some shooters on the Wii just to try them out. So we got Far Cry Vengeance. And I got another shooter on the Wii. I got Medal of Honor Heroes 2. So, uh, all these are roughly about a buck fifty a piece. Um, got some nice deals on them. Um, uh, next up here, we're going to go into the PlayStation 3 games that I've gotten recently. Um, got a bunch here, guys. Uh, they've been having some pretty sweet sales. Um, of course, I haven't popped it in yet. Um, uh, loving it though, and that is Dragon Ball Z uh, Budokai HD Collection. I've seen so many gameplay videos and stuff. Um, I've been dying to play it. Um, just got it the other day, and um, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, I love the games that are on here. You get number one uh, and number three, uh, fully remastered in HD. They just look absolutely stunning. Uh, I've just been playing my 360 lately. Haven't really put any time into the PS3, um, and that's going to be changing with this game right here. Uh, we also got Star Wars: The Clone Wars, uh, Republic Heroes. Uh, I got Gran Turismo 5 Prologue because I couldn't find uh, Gran Turismo 5 XL, um, so this was only a couple bucks. Decided to get it just to have me a good racing game. Uh, just got this, which I don't know if I'm going to play or not, because I think I'm going to get 13 on Black Friday. Um, but I did get WWE 12, and it was only like $9.99. Um, still looks cool nonetheless. Still probably will give it a go. Uh, game I've seen that's been cheap for a long time. Don't know much about it, and that is Fracture. Looks like it's a uh, sci-fi kind of shooting game. Uh, you guys saw my unboxing for this. This was the Super Street Fighter... 25th anniversary collector's edition um, of course that can't fit on my ps3 shelf so this will which is uh, super street fighter 4 the arcade edition and street fighter cross tekken and what it is it comes in a uh, two disc format there and then these were my download voucher codes which gave you numbers two three um, something first strike a whole bunch of stuff um, also got uh, Infamous 2 got that for 10 bucks um, I played some of Infamous 1 and I really liked it so I decided to go ahead and pick up Infamous 2 while it was cheap I uh, got MLB 12 the show to play with some buddies and they had this on sale too um, and it looks great uh, I love baseball I haven't played any baseball games this generation so I figured I'd give one a go I uh, got Eco uh, Shadow of the Colossus Collection for $9.99, um, brand new from GameStop. They had a 50% off sale. I uh, got Jack and Daxter the HD Collection, same thing. Uh, I got Journey um, Collector's Edition, same thing, half off. And I also got Ratchet and Clank the uh, HD Collection. Um, now the cool thing is with these three. Uh, these are all former PlayStation 2 games, of course. However, with uh, I want to talk a little bit about the journey. Uh, what this is, this is actually three uh, downloadable titles from the PlayStation Network. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, these are games that are all in the PlayStation Store that now have a physical hard copy release. Uh, they're all made by one company, and it's called That Game Company. Um, they're very, very revolutionary in what they did. Um, with games like Flower, Flow, I personally had Flow already, 
uh, on my console, and it's a great game. They're nothing, you know, spectacular and, uh, you know, crazy, out-of-this-world shooters or anything like that, but they're simple, basic games that really get your mind thinking, and they're just beautiful in that way. So I uh, picked up the Journey Collector's Edition. If you can find that, get it, uh, especially if you're a collector like myself, because, r to be honest with you, I wasn't going to get Journey unless they had something like this, and they did. Oops, and uh, that was games falling. <laughs> uh, but hopefully um, we see more of this in the future. I know the Xbox did it with Limbo and Explosion Man, um, and I forget, uh, Trials HD. So hopefully we get to see some more of these in the future, because that would tempt me more to buy them. Um, next up here we've got some PlayStation 3 Collector's Editions. Uh, you all have seen the unboxing of this one, and that is Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Another PS2 uh, HD collection. Been getting a lot of those lately just because of the great deals and stuff I've gotten on them. Uh, we have Record of Agorist War 2. Now what this comes with my box is beat all to heck, but for $25 brand new, really wasn't going to complain. Comes with a couple things here. Uh, of course you get the game. Uh, you get the art book. You get the uh, blow-up doll thing, plush thing you sit on your shelf, and then this is a hand towel. So, you get a bunch of cool little items. Nothing that can probably ever be used besides of the game, but um, neat nonetheless. If anybody doesn't know what Record of Agris War is, if you remember back on the 360, uh, they came out with the Naughty Edition, which uh, was very, you know, which came actually with the mouse pad I use. Show this to you guys. The Record of Aggro Store mouse pad. Yep. That's what it came with. And, uh, I'm too cheap to go buy a regular mouse pad, so that's what I use. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a great RTS, uh, JRPG, um, crazy Harvest Moon lineage thing going on with generations and you can continue the game forever and forever. It's crazy. It's really good. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. You can get it on uh, 360 or PS3. Um, start with uh, either the original or Zero um, before you play 2 though because uh, it does have somewhat of a storyline. I uh, got another banged up box. I got a lot of banged up boxes but I got them really cheap. Um, and I've been wanting them, and I didn't want them unless I got the collector's editions. Uh, so we got Blaze Blue, uh, Continuum Shift Extend. This is the newest one. I uh, have Continuum uh, Shift um, on play PlayStation 3, and then I have Continuum Shift 2 on the 3DS. Um, so besides this banged up box that I got, uh, you get the soundtrack, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you get a calendar for this year. Uh, you get a nice little art book here, which is pretty nice. And I um, haven't played the game yet, just because I haven't beat Continuum Shift uh, 1 yet. Um, and you get the game. So, you got a lot of cool stuff in this one. And uh, you can actually find these really cheap, guys. I'm not lying. Because, um, you know, I live up to the title of Cheap Ass Gamer, just like the website I use. And um, to be honest with you, I got this for like, I think, 17, 18 bucks on Amazon. So definitely check out Amazon for some great deals on some older collector's editions. You know, even if it's a little cosmetic damage, the game inside is sealed brand new. You can't beat something like that. Um, to follow that up, I got number one. Uh, I got an original copy of this, um, but they sent me one that was missing, like, everything. It only had the game disc, and that was it, and that's not what I ordered. Um, so I sent it back, and another guy had this one up for this, like around the same price. So once they refunded me my money from my old one, I went back and got this one, and this one actually came with what it was supposed to. So I got a lot nicer box here on this one. This is the original Blaze Blue, uh, which is the successor to Guilty Gear, if you've played any of those fighting games. And what this comes with comes with these right here. 
So first of all, you get the, of course, the traditional um, manual and game and all case there. But then you get this here. And what this is, is this is the Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger uh, bonus disc. It comes with uh, the limited edition Blu-ray uh, video that has a lot of behind the scenes stuff, um, some bonus stuff about the game and some of the characters. And then if you move this on over here, you actually have uh, a two-disc soundtrack. Um, so that's one thing I really wanted when they sent it to me, but they didn't give me this part at all. They just gave me this in the box, um, which doesn't make it a collector's edition. Um, but really glad I got this. The soundtrack, once again, absolutely amazing. Um, if you love Blaze Blue and you just want to get this, you can get this for around 10 bucks. Um, it's a great fighting game if you're wanting to get something, you know, different from Street Fighter and, you know, Tekken and all those games. It's definitely, definitely a different fighter and it's really good. You can get it on 360 or PS3. Uh, the last game I got here, I haven't played yet. Uh, you guys did see my unboxing for it. Um, if you watch Pete Door, he did do a review on it. Very honest review and actually really wants to get me to play the game. Um, like I said, I'm going to be start playing my PS3 here a little more and more uh, because I just kind of finished my big 360 uh, game I was working on, which was Assassin's Creed 1. Um, but, yeah, we got Mugen Souls, which, of course, you all saw the unboxing. Comes with a hardcover art book, um, some sponge things, and a CD, and, of course, the game. And if you just want to see what the game looks like, if you're not buying the collector edition, there it is. It's a great NSI America game. And uh, go watch Pete Doors review on it if you want to see some graphics and uh, just an honest you know, opinion of the game. Uh, next up here we have the Xbox 360 stuff we're going to be taking a look at. I got a couple collector editions for it. Um, of course you guys saw the Halo 4 Collector's Limited Edition. Um, great game, loving it. Um, I'm really good at multiplayer, I was surprised at. Um, but overall this is one of the best games I've played on the Xbox 360. I'm a huge Halo fan, love the story. Haven't played much of the campaign yet though. I have played some of the Spartan Ops, I love that new feature. And overall it's just a great experience if you uh, are looking to get into a multiplayer game or whatever. Halo 4 is definitely the game to get into. Um, you guys are going to see some uh, gameplays and stuff from this with uh, me doing some voiceovers and all because I'm going to start doing that for y'all. I've been getting tons and tons of people wanting me to do it and I've actually finally got some uh, equipment to do it good with so stay tuned for that. And then we got Record of Agorist War Zero. Um, this was brand new for $20 from Newegg.com. Um, comes with a whole bunch of cool stuff. You get this nice sleeve here. Uh, of course, you're going to get the game. And the character guide slash art book. Uh, the soundtrack. Once again, beautiful music in this game. I love JRPGs for their music just because they're so well orchestrated. And then you get this nice little box here that comes with a deck of playing cards and character cards. So definitely really cool. Um, so it's a very neat little addition and uh, definitely glad to own it. So that was Record of Agrist War Zero. Uh, next up here we've got, I uh, never heard of this game at all but I got it for like a buck fifty. And it had some nice awards and stuff on it, so I decided to pick it up. And that was Raven Squad on the 360. Don't know anything about it. If you've played it, let me know. Is it a mediocre shooter? Or, you know, what's going on with it? Just let me know, and uh, I'd be more than happy to, uh, you know, if it does have still online or something. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's got co-op, so Bobby, I know you're listening. You like to do some co-op. Hit me up on it if you got it. Uh, we got Blue Dragon, same thing, got it for a really nice price, I've been wanting it for a long time. Um, did not know it though, this game is actually uh, three disc, did not know that. So, definitely cool, and this is like absolutely brand new for being a used game. Uh, finally got Left 4 Dead, uh, 
been meaning to pick this up for a long time. Um, finally got it for a nice price, so got that. This game is crazy with the used copies. Me and a couple other guys were talking about it the other day. You know, Left 4 Dead 2 used is still forty dollars, and this game used is thirty dollars at GameStop um, and Amazon and all these other places. Crazy. Why is that? Anybody got some comments below? Let me know. I uh, picked up Lost Planet 2. Um, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. Haven't played number one yet, but uh, saw this was really cheap. And this actually came with a, uh, a mini guide here um, from Brady Games, so I thought that was kind of cool for him to include that. And uh, a game I've been wanting to get. Um, and that is Wet. So, finally got Wet Heath. Finally got my copy. Uh, so, hopefully I can uh, experience a pretty nice game. Uh, we got Bionic Commando. Another game I've just been wanting to get, but you know didn't want to pay a lot of money for it. Um, didn't know they had this. Picked it up. This is Rock Band Country 2. Um, love the first country game. I like country music. Yes, laugh at me all you want. Um, but I live in the South, and that's what I was raised on. Um, this has some great songs, though, so if you are a uh, country music fan, it does have uh, Billy Currington, George Strait, Jason Aldean, Johnny Cash, Justin Moore, um, Daryl Worley, uh, Dirk Bentley, Dwight Yoakam, uh, Trace Atkins, Sugar Land, Shania Twain, all sorts of great artists on there. Really glad to get that. I uh, got Section 8. Uh, you all saw the unboxing for this. This is Max Payne 3, the collector's edition. Or special edition, whatever they called it. Uh, finally got my hands on the new Castlevania game. Well, not new, but uh, newest Castlevania game. So, pick that up. I got a nice little kart racer here. Definitely underrated. Uh, this is Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine. Um, a really nice kart racer for sub $10. Um, if you can pick it up, it's you know fun uh, you can play online and um, I mean it's it's not Mario Kart or Diddy Kong Racing or any is you know Sonic uh, Racing by any means but for a nice little kart racer that's you know you can get for under ten bucks it's definitely uh, worth it uh, finally got a hockey game I've been wanting to play uh, NHL 12 and it has my local team on it so glad to get that um, heard this was really really good and uh, so if anybody wants to hit me up with some hockey, I got UFC 3, I uh, played the demo of this at GameStop with my dad, and uh, he really liked it, so I picked it up for him for him and me to play. And uh, like I said earlier here in the video, I just beat Assassin's Creed 1, I uh, found Assassin's Creed 2 out in the wild, sealed for 10 bucks, and uh, definitely will be starting this up soon. And that is all of the 360 games. Uh, next up here we got just some uh, other disk based kind of games that are kind of current gen, not current gen. I'll show you what I'm talking about. First of all, we'll go with the PS2. Uh, we got Friends. Uh, we got MLB Slugfest 2003. iToy Play. Snow Cross 2. MLB Slugfest 04. Gran Turismo 3 A Spec. Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder, uh, Frequency, World Rally Championship, and Stuntman. Got all those for a dollar. Uh, we got Unlimited Saga on the PlayStation 2. Need to put it in a new case there, get some or use some goo gone on there. But otherwise, great shape. Uh, all of these next PlayStation 2 games were two dollars a piece. Which I thought were pretty good deals. Um, didn't even know they were up to a number four, but I uh, picked up Naruto Ultimate Ninja 4. Um, really, really liked the first two games I believe I played. Um, didn't know they were on number four, so decided to pick it up for two bucks. Uh, you can't go wrong. Same thing with this game right here. We got Major League Baseball 2K12. Um, I've really wanted to uh, play a 2K12 game. Um, the baseball and uh, I got the show but uh, I kind of like to see the comparisons and I know 2k 12 is supposed to be really good and for 
this is probably the last uh, baseball game they're going to release, yeah, release on the PS2. Decided to go ahead and pick it up. And uh, so we got that. Um, never heard of this game, but it looked cool. And that is Shadow Man 2, The Second Coming. So we got that there. And never heard of this either, but uh, once again, I said it looked cool. And that is Dragon Rage. That needs a new box. So we got those PS2 games. So I got all of these for nine bucks, which isn't too bad. Um, Y'all saw I got that Steel Battalion controller a while back. Um, the guy finally found his game, so I can now play the original Steel Battalion. And it's complete, great shape. And uh, got Zoids Battle Legends. Uh, no manual, but that's okay. Love Zoid, one of my uh, favorite animes growing up as a kid, and I uh, have a video game to play. So we'll be right back here after this cut uh, with some handheld pickups and some retro stuff. Alright, so here we are back. i got some import games here for, for the Sega Saturn. I uh, picked up, this is, let me pronounce it here for you right, Nanatsu no Haiken, uh, which looks to be like one of these... Um, survivally kind of point and click kind of games um, didn't look like there was a lot of word barriers or anything so I decided to pick that up. It's made by Koei um, it is a one two three three disc game and it comes with complete with everything um, and I really like the the way all the everything's presented in a nice little package um, yeah so I got that I uh, got this one is Pro Yaku Team No Suruko, uh, which pretty much is a baseball game, um, just a chibi kind of baseball, and uh, it looked really cool. Uh, don't have any baseball games for my Saturn um, that are different, I guess you could say. Don't have any really arcadey sports games, so I decided to pick that up. I uh, picked up Virtual Volleyball. Once again, not really any language barrier here. Um, and I don't think uh, I own a um, modern or a more modern volleyball game besides the ones on the uh, old cartridges. And I just got this one for my collection purposes. This one's going to be pretty much um, virtually unplayable. Um, but that is Atelier Ellie. Um, she does have a manga, though, that is really, really good. Uh, it comes on with a little compact disc there, which I'm guessing has music on it. I haven't tried doing anything with it. And then, of course, you have the game and the manual. So, definitely cool. Um, if you are a fan of any of the Antilier games, Tokyo Pop does put on a uh, manga, which is Antilier, Ellie, and Marie. Um, so, definitely cool. I have the first two. They're really good. And it kind of gives you, you know, even though we can't play these games, um, unless you're fluent in Japanese, of course, uh, or want to sit there with a translator, um, it's nice to kind of know their worlds along with the ones that we got here in America. Uh, next up here, this one is a, uh, of course, uh, American game, but it is uh, Sega Saturn's exclusive. This is Fighters Mega Mix, um, which I thought looked really cool. Um, it's got all the Virtua Fighter 2 characters, Fighting Viper characters, and uh, 10 hidden characters. And uh, I thought it just looked really, really neat, and uh, decided to get it. Uh, the next thing I got, uh, another import from the same place I get all my import stuff, like the other ones. Um, this is... Uh, Ninku, which is a side-scrolling beat-em-up game for the Game Gear. looked really cool. I watched some YouTube reviews on it. And it came in this nice little clear case. And um, looked great, actually. Um, so, definitely cool for a little side-scrolling beat-em-up on the Game Gear. Uh, picked up Harvest Moon, uh, Friends of Mineral Town. I've been looking for this for a really long time. And got it for that price tag right there which is very, very cheap considering this is a $20 game. 
Uh, next up here we got Mega Bomberman on the Sega Genesis. Definitely cool. Uh, we got Magic Sword on the Super Nintendo. Great shape. Uh, we got Lemmings on the Super Nintendo. Um, got some more of these games I didn't know existed. Uh, that were black label, you know, Nintendo game, like original, straight, made by Nintendo, Nintendo games. Uh, the first one here is Urban Champion. Got Wrecking Crew. And uh, Volleyball. Also picked up Crystallis, finally. Been wanting that for a while. And also got, what is this one? Kung Fu Heroes, which look neat from the cover art. Uh, so that's all the retro -y, and that fell. Um, so that's all the retro kind of stuff that I got. Um, next up here, we're going to move into the more handheld stuff. Um, here we got some PSP games. We got Work Time Fun, which I believe is complete. Uh, Brunswick Pro Bowling, no manual, and Legend of Heroes, a tier of Vermilion. So it got me another PSP uh, RPG. I know they have a Legend of Heroes 2, and it uh, looks like a great game. Uh, next up here we've got some 3DS games. Let's see what we got here. We got, uh, haven't uh, played this one yet because, um, well, I had it at one time, but I took it back because I found out that it had dropped 50% in price. So I took it back, got my $40 back, and then rebought it eventually for $20. Uh, so I picked it up a couple weeks ago. Um, Harvest Moon 3D, uh, Tale of Two Towns. So I got me a Harvest Moon game that I play on my 3DS. Uh, Shifting World. This was only like $5 or something. Um, looked really neat. It looked like a crazy kind of puzzle game, and it's made by Axis, so I thought it couldn't be too bad. Uh, pretty nice beat em up here, and that's Coda Princess. Uh, you all saw my unboxing for this one. Uh, next up here we got The Hidden and Augmented Reality Ghost Hunting Adventure. Uh, I heard this wasn't really that good, but I think I got it for $5 sealed. Um, something about the Wi-Fi issue or something. Um, but I got it anyway just because of the price, and I uh, figured if I run out of things to do on my 3DS, I could play this. And I uh, finally got myself a copy of Resident Evil Revelations. Love the demo. Um, haven't played the full game yet, but uh, definitely, definitely will be playing some of that. And there's a reason why I haven't been playing very many handheld games. And, uh... That is because of this little beauty right here, and that's Pokemon White 2. I also got Pokemon Black 2, my buddy's borrowing it, um, just because I don't need to play both titles at the same time. But I did buy both of them to get the exclusive uh, Toys R Us commemorative coins. Um, this is the Pokemon White 2 coin, which I got there, and I got the Pokemon Black 2 coin. And you had to buy the games to get the coins, so I went ahead and bought both. Um, also picked up the Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Nice little purchase there. Uh, don't have any of the Zelda DS games, um, so I think I... Do I have to wait and play Phantom Hourglass before this one? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, um, because if not, I really want to try it out. Uh, we got Kirby Mass Attack. Just got this in the mail yesterday. Um, Ten dollars right now, brand new on Newegg, and um, great Kirby game. I love it. Um, I've been wanting it for a really long time, and it actually dropped from thirty dollars to ten bucks. So, if they still have any more copies, it definitely makes a nice stocking stuffer or a great gift, you know, to get you through uh, the holiday time. Uh, finally, picked up Dragon Quest IV. Uh, been looking for it for a really long time and went ahead and bought it at GameStop. And the reason I did was because it was complete. And the K 
case was in great shape, so I decided to buy it. I got this for 10 bucks, and this is Golden Sun Dark Dawn. So definitely been getting my RPG craze here lately. And got this one for about 5 bucks, and I really wanted it for a while, and that is Ivy the Kiwi. So now I have the Wii version and the uh, DS version. And the last thing we got here is I did get another uh, Gears of War 3 controller. A uh, funny story about this actually was um, I was at a, not my local GameStop, but a GameStop close to my town. I have like six in my local area. And um, I was in there just looking around and something they wouldn't buy this controller off of them because it didn't have the traditional battery pack. And they were only going to give them $10 for the controller anyway, and this I know is, you know, a $60 controller, you know, minimum $40 because it's a Gears controller. Uh, it's got the new spinning D-pad and all that, and it's in relatively nice shape. You know, really no nicks or nothing. And um, it just had a, you know, these old battery pack. So um, I have a charger, so... I don't really care that it has a white back, so I went outside and told the guy I'd give him 10 bucks for it, um, and picked it up, and it works great, so, um, now to go along with my Gears console, I got three Gears controllers. I got some books here, picked up Sonic the Hedgehog to complete Sonic Comic Encyclopedia. So if you have any questions at all about anything with the Sonic Comic books, um, I mean, anything at all. Right here, this is less than $10 right now on Amazon if you go get it. Got the Pokemon Black and White 2 Hard Cover Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I'm uh, really excited to get this. This is, the, uh, this is actually pretty rare now. And this is the limited edition art book for the original Assassin's Creed. Uh, this comes with... This one did come with the lithograph. So, really glad to get that. This is an absolutely astounding art book. Um, I mean, this is a true art book. They actually go through and show you all the characters and their different, you know, costumes and animations and everything. And um, it's something that's really, really a work of art. And uh, some art books you see now are kind of like this, you know. But um, this is actually a really, truly good one. Um, if you can get this for sub-$20... I definitely highly recommend it, especially if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, um, whether you're a fan of the new ones or the original one like myself. Um, it's a great, great book, and uh, they sell new for $90 to $100, and um, I got mine for a special deal of 12 so if you can get this for under 20 bucks, I highly recommend it. Um, there aren't very many up there for that price, so if you can snag one, snag it. Uh, also got the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Hardened Edition uh, stretch, whoops, uh, strategy guide. Um, this kind of something I didn't know it came with. Um, I'm not going to open it right now, but um, it comes with the uh, combat ready map stand, which if you look here, is actually this spiral notebook thing that comes. You can sit it on your desk while you play, so definitely kind of cool there. Uh, they had these going on for $5, so if you want any of the collector's edition uh, strategy guides, definitely check Amazon.com. Great website to get all sorts of stuff. And I uh, also got the Splatterhouse uh, strategy guide. It is only like $2.99, and that's uh, full color, really nice. And um, I decided when I start Splatterhouse, this will help me through it. Um, that is actually it. Um, I don't think I've gotten anything else to show you, no. Um, so that has been New Gaming Stuff episode 54 or 53. I don't know. I never know. I never look when I start. Um, so hopefully this came out great. I hope it did. Um, if you have any questions, comments on anything I've gotten here, let me know. Um, if you want to, you know, Skype me or whatever. Um, Skype will be down below as well. Um, if you have, you know, want to talk about any of the games I got or whatever, if you have any recommendations, uh, definitely let me know. Um, there also be a link to my new podcast down below. Um, I'll be making another video about it, although pretty soon here, so stay tuned for that. 
Um, but just, you know, a link for it is down below if you want to go take a listen. Um, as well as the, the channel that it'll be put up on too and all that stuff. Um, so definitely go check it out now, but I will be making a future video about it. I do have some tag videos coming up as well. Um, and just some stuff I want to talk about going on with uh, the gaming world. So definitely stay tuned for all of that. And uh, we'll see you right back here next time. This has been gone on long enough. And uh, I'll let you all go. So until next time, this has been Blake of Blake's Game Room. Peace out, YouTube.